Hi, I'm Steve Speck with XL Mountain Gear. We are going to show you how to compress up a 7200. The same process applies for the 3600 and 5000. We figured we might as well just show you how well even our biggest bag compresses up to the frame. One of our design focuses is, is making sure the pack performs at every stop along the way. One of those stops is definitely you got a 7200 bag, but you're just day hunting. And we don't want this big floppy bag, so we make sure in the design that everything can compress up nice and tight to the frame. So I'm just going to walk you through it. we got all this stuffing. We're just going to open it up, take it out, and then I'll compress it up to the frame. Start with the lid. Pull that bag out. Up off the top. And you can see just how big this bag is. It's got a lot of capacity. So now that the bag is empty, the first step you want to do is go to the bottom of the bag. And we've got this system here. You got the webbing that's sewn to the bag that passes through the ladder lock on the bottom of the frame. And then it goes to this tri-glide and then to another ladder lock. Simply going to grab the webbing and you want to tuck in this bottom flap, kind of fold it in like that. And then we're just going to suck all that volume out of the bottom and then I'm going to come and take those straps and cinch that up nice and tight like that and then I like to just take this extra webbing and tuck it underneath and then I'm going to go to the side of the pack And same as the bottom, I'll just kind of grab here at the seam, take all that extra material and fold it in until I get to the frame. Get that extra webbing out of my way. Compressed up this side, now I'll flip it around and do the other side as well. Again, you kind of got this main front seam for the pack. I'm just going to lift that up, fold everything in. Buckle that since you're tight. Get that extra webbing out of my way. Same thing with the top strap. Next, I'm just going to do the roll top. It's one of the Beautiful things about a roll top is all this extra space and volume that can be here when you need it can also just completely roll out of the way. Buckle that up. And lastly, the lid goes on. Got the lid cinched down tight here at the top of the frame, nice and tight. These metal tri-glides do a really good job of kind of keeping the lid in place and keeping it from shifting left and right. Obviously, you got to do your part and make sure these are sucked down tight to begin with. But if they are sucked down tight, the lid really stays in place nicely. So you can see we just took that massive 7200 bag, turned it into day hunting mode where it's got a nice thin profile. Everything's tight. There's nothing loose. Even the lid is nice and tight at the top. Um, so again, just the added versatility we build into design into all of the packs so that making sure that even this biggest bag, when the scenario calls for it, where I'm day hunting from it, I don't have this massive bag that can't compress up nice and tight to the frame. So for more information, check us out at exomountaingear.com.